Well, I think the first thing that comes to mind is is, is the passports. You know, we, every one of our players, coaches, and, and support staff had to get passports if they didn't have them. Um, then you got to talk about a work visa, which is is more difficult than a tourist visa. Uh, I've learned a lot about I might be able to work in the embassy someday. We've learned a lot about this. So I just got to stay focused on the job at hand. Um, this is a business trip for us. Yeah, we're going to have some fun times there, but we... Uh, Mentally, we have to stay focused about trying to be successful against uh, Cal. Uh, since it's a 10-hour flight, most of us would be watching film on uh, our flight and making sure that we stretch as well. So um, we just have to stay focused the whole time. Uh, we can't let uh, any distractions uh, come before us. So I know for most of the guys, including myself, you know, we've never been, you know, to another country, especially another continent. So. You know, it'll be, you know, it'll be some distractions out there, but there's always distractions, you know, practice every day. So well, what we got to do is just focus on the game, really, you know, appreciate the experience. But what we really need to do is just, you know, focus on this game and, and get that first W back to Hawaii. So far, they've shown some good maturity. And I think they understand the goal is, is not to get a stamp on their visa or their passport. Their, their goal is to go down and play the best football we can play. Cal runs a lot of the things we run. And um, they run, you know, spread. They want to throw the ball a lot. We just got to attack, stop the run first, and then attack the pass when they when they put the ball in there. I, I'm pretty excited to see what our team does. Uh, I know that our offense has improved, our defense has improved, and even our special team. So um, I'm excited for kickoff. And once the play starts, uh, I know it's going to be awesome. That's what I'm probably looking forward to the most, bringing all this, um, the culture and everything, you know, the type of game back home to show everyone. So it'll be really fun. I certainly get a couple of interesting, you know, Australia questions. I was asked if we have phones the other day. Um, you know, I was asked if we have money. So I'm trying to educate them the most, uh, the most that I can, but I think, I think they're ready for it. And he was telling us a little something about how Australia is one of the cleanest countries in the, in the world, I guess. So they're pretty strict about it, and we just got to make sure that we go in there, respect their culture, and... Uh, do whatever they ask, just like how in Hawaii people do the same thing. we we got to be respectful of their country and also understand that we're ambassadors of college football um, in another country, and so um, it's a big deal for them. So you, you understand their side of it too. We are over there to, to play a game, obviously. Um, we will have our downtime, though, so I'm hoping to you know show them around and, and I'm sure they'll enjoy the things that Sydney has to offer. I know we'll be going to the zoo, um, so that'll be a cool experience for them as well. The, the worth of this trip will be when they're older and, and hopefully the friendships they still have and the memories that, that are good ones about this place when they go to Australia in their mind, it'll be, man, that was a really cool thing we did. And I think that's a success.